Hey little man. He's pretty comfortable. Quite warm right now. So we did a water birth at home and we're waiting for the umbilical cord to fall off. It's gonna take a few days. I think we're at day three now. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. So it does look like these are the living cells and these are the, you know, quite dry and dead cells. So let's look at the cord. Right now it's wrapping around. He has 75 centimeters of cord, which is long. I was told a long cord is 50 centimeters. So we are, what is it, 50% longer than a long. So it's extremely long. So it's wrapping around him, going all the way here, going all the way there, going inside. So in here is the placenta with lots of salt. We change it out every day. In fact, I think we got to change it again today. So our plan with this, with this, with the placenta, we'll dry it out, we'll make it into little capsules, and we're going to bury it in the ground in the different countries that we visit, so that our baby, Pui Pui, it's his nickname right now, his brother, the placenta, will be able to be all around the world, just like the little brother. Yeah, so that's the plan. With the cord, we will be making a dream catcher. Dream catcher. Very dreamy, right? What an interesting idea. Can't wait to try this one. Right now we're living in Bali and the local culture, what they do is they bury the boys on the right side of the gate leaving the house and the girls on the left side of the gate leaving the house. And then what happens is if the parents are going on a trip or anything, what they will do is take a little bit of it with them, a little bit of the soil that grows over it. So in the local Balinese belief, the placenta is called Ali Ali, and they believe this is our first brothers or sisters that always accompanies us. And this is the soulmate. So it comes with us, so we're not born alone. And we are about to go when we are dying, and it also accompanies us for the last trip to advocate for us. So you always have a company, you're never alone. I also heard a beautiful story of a little boy who's very sick and the grandfather takes the boy, he's still a baby, and lays him on the area where the placenta was buried and then basically says, placenta, please make him better. Take away this illness. The doctors can't do it, you can. And of course in the story, the placenta can. There we go. So this is the tree of life. This was the placenta right here, and the cord was going out this way. And basically the placenta was placed on it after the baby was born, after the placenta was open. The placenta weighed just about a kilogram, maybe slightly under it, 2.2 pounds. And that's what the baby was in, that's what Pui Pui was in. And then of course the cord, the is in here now, the cord ran all the way to Pui Pui, who was about 4. Point but well, yeah, just 4.0 kilograms, so that's 8.8 pounds when he was born at 41 weeks. Definitely a big baby. He's proven to be so fun too. You know, he's so asleep, so cute. Um, we'll see what he looks like in a few more days and how his life changes. This is a placenta, Bumisa Hut. They took it, dried it, ground it up, made it into a powder, and now we can travel the world with it and plant it everywhere. And this is Atlas's umbilical cord. It's a dream catcher now, whoopsie. Bumi Sahat also helped us with this. Very artistic, yes? Hey, Atlas, Atlas. Oh, well, I guess I'll let you guys go and I'll take care of him. All right, little man, let's go on an adventure.